You lost everything. And so, to answer your question, Mr. Senator, in spite of these recent events, I don't believe forcing superheroes to register with the government is the answer. This law would split the hero community right down the middle, with consequences I'm not sure any of us want to ponder. Hey, Mr. Stark! Hey, Mr. Stark! Over here! Was that really your best shot? Sneaking around doesn't become you, Steve. Maybe I'll need to practice. Maybe we all will. Don't be so melodramatic. This whole thing would affect you, least of all. You're already deputized. You almost sound like you agree with them. This registration act would tear down everything we've done. Destroy a century-old tradition of... I'm trying to save it, Steve. As much of it as I can, anyway. Don't you see where this is headed? All it's going to take is one more slip-up by anyone in a cape, and we'll be lucky if registration is the worst they do. They could just turn us all into criminals. Hunt us all down. No, they won't, Tony. Not in my country. Now return to our special live episode of The New Warriors, coming to you straight from Stamford, Connecticut, where the Warriors have just been spotted by their supervillain quarry. Looks like it's on. I've got cold heart, you guys. Hey, somebody snagged Nitro. He's rabbiting. Don't worry, Speedball. I'm on it. now coming in from Stamford, Connecticut, indicate a massive explosion in a residential neighborhood. Just over 12 hours ago now, and preliminary casualties are said to be over 600. In Washington, rumblings on whether superhero reform should be brought to the Following table. Following last week's devastating explosion, Congress has rushed through passage of the Superhuman Registration Act, with the president expected to sign it. This is just completely insane, Hill. I won't do it. I'm sorry. Was it not clear I was giving you an order? You're asking me to arrest people who risk their lives for this country every day. No, I'm ordering you to obey the will of the American people, Captain. Either you help us bring them in, or we'll bring you in. Weapons down, gentlemen. Or I... Drink dart. Now! Uh, take him down! Take him down! <laughs> You want to stay conscious. You idiot. We were trying to save lives. Of all the people to go underground, Captain America. Now every superhero who disagrees with the act suddenly has a leader. Maybe we should hold off until... That won't be necessary, Mr. President. Registration can go forward as planned. We'll take care of Captain America. With the passage of the Superhuman Registration Act earlier this week, superheroes around the country are being forced to choose a side. Do they register with the government to uphold the law or become part of an underground resistance movement? So far... Can you believe this is really going down? The act kicks in at midnight, but word is S.H.I.E.L.D.'s gonna be here sooner than that, taking signatures or prisoners. I wanna talk to Cage about it, but he's too busy arguing with Mr. Fantastic over there. Maybe you can break into their little powwow and get some sense out of them.
understand your skepticism, Luke, but you have to believe me. I've crunched the numbers, and we absolutely can't rebel against the government on this. If we do, the consequences... Can't be any worse than burning the Constitution. You're exaggerating. This is a temporary measure. Once things settle down... I ain't buying it, Reed. And I can't believe somebody as brainy as you would. Oh, hello. Good timing. Perhaps you can talk some sense into Mr. Cage here. He and Iron Fist seem determined to get arrested. He's the one who needs a reality check. But good luck getting anywhere with that. You have reached the voice mailbox of... Reed Richards. Please leave your message at the tone. Yeah, uh... Hey, Reed, this is Ben. Look, I... I can't do this. Lord knows I've followed you into some pretty crazy places over the years, but somehow Can this is one place I can't go. Uh, I've been thinking about it for a long time. Are you sure you can get us to Cap without leading them right to him? Got it covered. You just stick with me. But what about the rest? How can we convince... They're gonna have to make their own choice. Stark, Richards, and Songbird are obviously a lost cause. But maybe. Well, well. Speak of the devil. So you folks made up your minds yet? From what I hear, they ain't gonna give you much more time to sit on the fence. Later. And so, in a worst-case scenario, we'd find ourselves in the equivalent of a super-powered civil war. Heroes so busy fighting each other, the criminals get a free pass. Exactly. That's where you and the Thunderbolts would come in, Melissa. We need you to help S.H.I.E.L.D. keep crime under control while we focus on... Oh, hello again. I'm glad to see you're not going off half-cocked like Luke, Danny, and Eli over there seem to be. We need cooler heads to prevail at a time like this. I'm not sure that's been determined. Incarceration, most likely. Those who violently resist might accidentally be harmed. That's classified, I'm afraid. We can speak more freely about it once you've registered. Warning. My pleasure. Security upgrades are complete. As of midnight tonight, any superhuman personnel listed as unregistered will be treated by the building security system as hostile. Hey, you come to a decision yet? For now, yeah, it is. Stamford would never have happened if superheroes had proper oversight. Cap threw any chance of peace away when he put those S.H.I.E.L.D. agents in the hospital. Later. Stock Enterprises current stock price, 4218, down $1.16. Hey, good times, huh? I can. The government's always wanted to take us down a peg. Now they see their chance. But Cap showed us what we need to do. If we had time, I'd tell you some stories about S.H.I.E.L.D. Just trust me. World peace isn't at the top of their priority list. See ya.
With the Superhuman Registration Act looking likely to pass within the Washington D.C. attack as evidence that superheroes are absolutely necessary in today's world. All superhumans, the Registration Act is in effect. You are now required to meet with Commander Hill and register your identity with S.H.I.E.L.D. by a team of superheroes just before the Stamford incident. I'm glad to see you're willing to meet with me on civil terms. Once you register, I'm sure we'll have a productive relationship. The paperwork is right here. Step up and sign, please. The law is in effect. Your time is up. So, what's it gonna be, heroes? Just sign up here and you'll be bona fide law enforcement agents. You're not looking to start trouble, are you? One more stunt like that and there'll be hell to pay. Not only that, but you're off my Christmas card list too. Smart move. I'm glad to see you're going through with registration. You have no idea what you've just done. Par for the course, crazy lady. Besides, I can always go the other way on my next playthrough. Jeez, Mr. Q. 
cage? Don't worry, kid. He'll bounce back from this. Songbird will be fine, too. You made the right choice. I knew you would. Now let's get the hell out of here before we got more of these lackeys to deal with. Welcome to the Resistance. It's good to see there's still heroes like us willing to stand up for what's right. It's also encouraging to see a significant number of S.H.I.E.L.D. agents defecting to our side. They call themselves the White Star, apparently in my honor. I can't tell you we're in for an easy time, though. Stark and S.H.I.E.L.D. have advanced technology and almost unlimited resources at their disposal. Yeah, but none of that matters. What we got is more important. Yes, we have the moral high ground. We know we're in the right. Our path to victory? Convince the public to repeal that law by remaining steadfast. And by showing everyone what it really means to be a hero. We got a lot of operations in the works, so you can count on being asked to help out real soon. Meantime, feel free to explore our command bunker. This abandoned Hydra storage facility is no Stark Tower, I know, but it'll hold up if S.H.I.E.L.D. comes knocking. We won't win this thing hold up in here. Head over to the briefing station when you're ready for your first mission. What can I do for you? I guess folks assume I stand for the American government. I don't. I stand for the American dream. The American way of life. In the end, I'd say freedom. I think the Founding Fathers would agree. We have to stand up for what's right, no matter what. Glad we see eye to eye on that. Hail, my friend. Captain America hath said it's a war. If so, then it would serve us well to put such thoughts aside. If one fights for a righteous cause, nothing matters more than achieving victory, even if the cost be thy soul. Fare thee well, my friend. 